Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am planning the week of May 30th through June 5th using this beyond old glam planner kit. Well, actually I don't even know if you can call it a kit because it's basically, it was a printable. So, and back then when I purchased this and honestly when I printed it too, um, her printable kits were two pages. So two eight and a half by 11 pages. Um, and the first page was just the, as you can see, what I have here, the full boxes, the bottom washi, the headers back, and this is back when everyone used three headers a day, um, and then a few functional items. I didn't even bother printing the second page because the second page, while it did have the functional items, and like, it was basically all half boxes, and then well half of it was half boxes the other half was like the heart checklists and again that was back when everyone was using heart checklists every day and that was just not going to work with what are the way I plan now but because I printed this kit and honestly because I bought it as well I wanted to make sure that I used it so I did and I mean honestly who doesn't like watermelon like I love the patterns on this I think it's super cute especially the bottom washi and because this kit is just pinks and greens. I had a ton of available um, functional items, like multicolor functional items in my collection because again, it's just pink. So I literally did any shade of pink I could find. And then I tried to keep it that like greenish minty, not mint color green, and then the like darker one. But uh, because I found that the greens were a little bit harder to match but the pinks like I said I literally just did any shade that I could find so yeah I like the way it turned out I love a good Franken kit as you guys know and I think I'm trying to look through my planner you this summer especially you will be seeing a lot of Franken kits so and I've talked about it before I just love Franken planning it's a great way to use up your collection it's I think actually it is slightly cheaper because especially if you all you do is just buy like grab bags and then you can make even from any shop because as you can see I'm using stickers mainly from Glam Planner and Swirble Prince Co but there's a couple other Franken like um grab bag items that I have in here that like I use Planner Kate there as I am right now um that page flag I believe is from a page of an old Murdoch Talk kit Murdoch Talks kit so really you can and same with that movie marquee so really you can use any shop it really doesn't matter so and if you just get the grab bags and you because those are heavily discounted usually so you can probably put a full kit together and not even spend like a total of like five dollars on that kit once you calculate everything out so highly recommend especially if you're new to planning so it's a great way to not spend a lot of money especially on something that you you don't know if you will enjoy so before I get too far behind I'm going to get into the day by day so Monday morning as you can see it looks like my pretty normal morning I had coffee Monday and I'm so happy that I had a matching watermelon mug to use with it I believe this mug is from coffee monsters co from her summer mug um, sheet but it, it was just too perfect and I loved it. So yeah, Coffee Monday, watched some YouTube, did some editing and then I designed some stickers. And as I always mention, every time I use it, those sticker sheets are from Planner Kate and they're like my favorite sticker ever. It's like a sticker of a sticker, which is, I think it's so cute, I love it. And then in the afternoon and evening, I did a little bit of swimming watched Sue Thomas which is a TV show and then we watched Pinocchio so if you I can't remember when we started I think it was last week actually or maybe the week before no it was last week where my mother-in-law and my fiance and I are watching all of the Disney animated feature films in order and Snow White was the first one which was last week and Pinocchio was this week so we did that and then Moving on to Tuesday, it was payday for me, and then I had a meeting. I did the budget because it was the end of the month as well as the beginning of the next month, and that's when a lot of our budgeting to-dos take place, so that's what I did. And then I did a little bachelorette planning. I am the maid of honor for my best friend's wedding, and because of that, 
I was in charge of planning the bachelorette party. I mean, she helped, it wasn't just me, but um, I did a lot of the work. So I, that's what I decided to work on today. Um, again, watched that Sue Thomas show, went to trivia uh, as we always do Tuesday nights. And then I rounded out the day by reading. Moving on to Wednesday, I had a Zoom call with um, a friend. So she, well, I guess now we're friends, I guess. But basically, she is joining our lab and I was assigned to be her like first year contact person for school. So we had a meeting and where I got to answer her questions, um, help her with classes and neighborhoods to live and whatever else she had questions on. So that was meeting on Wednesday. I had an appointment after that. Um, my mother-in-law and I went shopping at Ross because we had a wedding coming up and I needed, or wanted rather, some new dresses for it. And then we went to trivia again this evening. So this was because we went with Colton's parents. We usually go with Colton's work group on Tuesdays, but his parents kind of wanted to go. So there was another bar, brewery that does trivia on Wednesdays. So we decided to check that out. And in our personal opinion, we prefer the Tuesday one uh, because it's, I don't know, anyway, too much detail, I guess, but we went to trivia two days in a row. Um, had Sonic afterwards, we got some shakes. And then again, I read in the evening like I normally do. Moving on to Thursday, I had Fish Lab coffee break in the morning. And again, another excuse to use that watermelon mug. Did some filming. Uh, again, did um, mainly closing out the budget. So there's kind of like a two-part series to the budget where it's at the end of the month, I kind of prep for the next month. And then at the beginning of the month, so like a couple days later, I close out the previous month. So that's kind of what I did here. I had a phone call with my mom. Honestly, cannot remember for the life of me what we talked about, but yeah. Um, listened to a podcast and then watched a movie. We watched um as luck would have it it was i don't know i don't think it was hallmark i think it was a netflix quote unquote hallmark movie but i honestly can't remember it was cute um my mother-in-law christina and i watched it and we enjoyed it but i mean it's one of those predictable movies but that's exactly the mood we were in for so yeah so on friday i watched youtube in the morning again did a little bit more bachelorette planning again watched that sue thomas fbi tv show and then this evening, we all went to see Maverick, or Top Gun Maverick, and we enjoyed it. I actually liked this one a lot more than I liked the first one, um, mainly just because the cast. I really like the main, so it was Hangman, well, obviously Maverick, Hangman, and oh god, I forgot his call name, but Miles Teller. I like all those actors, um, and yeah, I just like the story a little bit more on this one, so that was a good one and then i did some crafting when we got home and then again i read in the evening moving on to saturday saturday morning i started the day working on a puzzle i honestly can't remember which puzzle i was working on at this point um but oh i think it was like a fall landscape one that my mom gave me from what i remember either way it doesn't really matter did a puzzle did some filming did some crafting most likely the crafting that you'll see that you saw oh that you will see so friday saturday and sunday was bachelorette stuff because i made some of her um what are they called party favor stuff and decorations and things like that so that's probably what i was working on um did a little bit of wedding planning with colton we decided every saturday to just do one thing or just to look at something or whatever it is even though we're years out from our wedding it's just a way to kind of enforce that habit in us so that we don't save things for the last minute and we can do things on time and whatever else. So worked on that and then had a party. We went to a friend's house. She was leaving soon at this point. So we kind of just hung out at her place um, for a little bit and then we watched New Girl when we got home since that's the TV show that we were working on um, together. And then finally, moving on to Sunday, I did the laundry in the morning. My Erin Condren seasonal surprise box arrived this day. And then I did some filming, probably filming the seasonal surprise box unboxing. Um, 
talk to my parents as we always do on Sundays and then again ended the day by working on some crafting and again now that I'm actually looking and I'm like peeking forward in my planner I'm pretty sure this was the bachelorette planning or the bachelorette crafting stuff because at this point on the 5th the bachelorette party was like less than two weeks away so I'm pretty sure that's what I was working on and that is everything as you can see I'm kind of stretching the kit or at least the stickers that I have out a little bit but anyway I think it I think it worked out well and I like I said I always have extra multicolored so like I didn't really need to stretch things out but I kind of like using coordinate like when you're making a Franken spread I like using coordinated stickers it does make the spread look a tad more cohesive just in my opinion at least so anyway, that is that. In a few seconds, I will show you the stickers that I have left as well as what the final spread looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.